happy to be with you again. And I missed you very much. It's been a while since I've done a bracelet DIY. And you know that I love making bracelets. So I'm going to show you how to make an adorable heart friendship bracelet. You only need some thread and a button. Seriously? Yeah, let's do this. To make our heart friendship bracelet, we need some embroidery floss, tape, a needle, which is handy if you make a mistake with a knot, and scissors. Choose two colors of the embroidery floss and also take a small button for an awesome closure to the bracelet. Cut two strands of each color approximately 50 inches or 1.2 meters long. Put the four strands together, fold them in half and then make a knot like this. Tape the knot onto a flat surface and divide the threads into two sets. You need to have two threads of each color on each side. Colors should alternate and you must have a mirror image with the left and the right set of threads. The outside thread color will be the color of the hearts, for me it's yellow, and the red will be the background. Now let's first see how the heart will look like and how to achieve the pattern. Each heart consists of four rows. Two special rows for the upper half of the heart and two normal chevron rows for the bottom part. Then you just continue these same steps, two special, two normal, two special, two normal, and so on until your bracelet is long enough. I'm going to start with two normal rows, just because it's easier to first learn the basics. Start on the left side with the outermost strand. Make a forward knot by creating a 4 shape over the second outermost strand, go under that strand and back out through the loop. Pull the thread to tighten. Make sure you always knot twice. Continue making forward knots over the remaining two strands until the working strand reaches the middle. On the right side we'll be making backward knots, so let's quickly see the difference between a forward and a backward knot. For the forward knot you have the working strand on the left and you're knotting over the strand on the right. With the working strand you make a 4 shape over the strand beside on the right like this. Take the end of your working strand, loop it under the red strand and back out through the opening. Remember to knot twice before moving to the following strand. When making a backward knot you have a working strand on the right and you're knotting over the strand on the left. Make a reverse 4 shape like this. Loop the working strand under the red one and back through the opening. Now that forward and backward knots are clear, let's continue with the bracelet. I'm taking the outermost strand on the right, which will be my working strand for this half of the chevron row. Make a reverse 4 shape over the second outermost strand. Loop the yellow working strand under the red one and through the opening. And of course, don't forget to always knot twice. Continue making backward knots over the remaining two strands towards the left until the yellow working strand has reached the middle. Make two backward knots with the middle yellow strands to connect the two halves. Our first normal row is finished. We need to make another row in the exactly the same way. Since now our outermost strands are red, we will get a red chevron row instead of a yellow. Make two forward knots over each of the three strands of the left set until the working strand reaches the middle. Now go to the right set of strands. Take the outermost strand and make two backward knots over each of the three strands until the outermost working strand reaches the middle. Make two final backward knots with the two middle strands to connect the two halves. Now we finish the second normal row. It's time for the first special row. Again start on the left side. Take the second outermost strand, mine is red, and make a backward knot over the outermost strand, which is yellow in my case. Knot twice and leave the red strand on the left. Take the second outermost strand, which is now yellow, and make forward knots over the remaining two strands of the left set until the yellow strand reaches the middle. Now go to the right set of strands. Take the second outermost strand, mine is red, and make a forward knot over the outermost strand, which is yellow in my case. 
knot twice and leave the red strand on the right. Take the second outermost strand which is now yellow and make backward knots over the remaining two strands of the right set until the yellow strand reaches the middle. Make two final backward knots with the two yellow middle strands to connect the two halves. We have finished our first special row. Now it's time for the second special row, so let's repeat the steps. Start on the left. Take the second outermost strand and make a backward knot over the outermost strand, not twice. Take the second outermost strand and make forward knots over the remaining two strands until the second outermost strand reaches the middle. Now go to the right set of strands. Take the second outermost strand and make a forward knot over the outermost strand, not twice. Take the second outermost strand and make backward knots over the remaining two strands of the right set until it reaches the middle. Make two final backward knots with the two red middle strands to connect the two halves. And we finished our second special row. As you can see, the two special rows represent the upper half of the heart. Now we need to again make a normal row to finish the heart. So take the outermost strand and make forward knots over the three strands of the left set until it reaches the middle. Now take the outermost strand on the right and make backward knots over the three strands of the right set until it reaches the middle. Connect the two halves by making backward knots with the middle yellow strands. Next make a second normal row, then two special rows again and so on. So just keep repeating the two normal and two special rows until your bracelet is long enough to fit your wrist. I loved making Frenchie bracelets when I was younger, but back then I only knew how to make the standard diagonal lines pattern. I was so happy when I learned how to make this hard one. It is actually super easy to make and it only takes about 3 hours to finish it. When the bracelet is long enough, make a simple knot at the end to secure your work. Now I'll show you how to make a button closure which allows taking the bracelet on and off your wrist easily without damaging it. Choose one strand of the embroidery floss and thread the button on like so. Make 2-3 to three knots to secure the button as close to the ending of the bracelet as possible. Cut the excess thread and you're finished! Now you have this lovely closure to your bracelet that isn't just extremely practical, but also super duper adorable. Whether it's a gift to yourself or someone you love, it always feels nice to create something useful and beautiful from scratch. You can wear your hard friendship bracelets on their own or you can stack on some other pieces that you have. Here I combined mine with some gold bracelets and I think they look amazing together. This was already my fourth bracelet DIY. No way. Yeah way. Check the previous ones out if you haven't already! Stay happy and see you next time! I really hope you'll make this bracelet yourself, it's so simple once you get the hang of it! So happy knotting!